Hey everyone, this is Shai with you. And in this video, we're going to be looking at the features available in the order flow charts at uh, vTrender. So on screen right now is a classic order flow chart. And you know that, okay, because there are buyers on the right hand side of this bar, the sellers are on the left hand side. And uh, this is the way, okay, an order flow chart, okay, would look at. Let's walk you through, okay, what is available. So you have this live panel at the top left which will give you all the values the open high lows the value areas the ibh etc if you do not want this information then you can go to the bottom over here and uncheck the live till uh, you also have a panel at the bottom okay which gives you the volume the vpoc the vpoc volume the cord the oi and doi i will cover this panel in a subsequent video but in case, okay, you want a bigger screen size, you can uncheck this box and uh, now, okay, you have the order flow charts all to yourself. Uh, you have a volume profile on the left hand side, which covers all the bars which are there in this uh, in this screen right now. Okay, you have the time frames over here, the one minute, the three minute, the five minute, the 30 minutes. The GV, okay, is the global volume. If you don't want that uh, volume bar, okay, you can uncheck, okay, it from here. And these would be the global volume with the numbers. If you don't want the numbers, okay, to come in, okay, you check and check the GVN. But you don't want this altogether, and you want the screen entirely to order flow. There you have it. Okay, you have the entire screen all to order flow. Right on the right hand side, if you come in, you have an option to go. You go to go two windows as well as more. We highly recommend a two window option, and I'll be speaking more about that in uh, another video. And here at the top, okay, you can choose your instruments. Okay, suppose I want to go uh, with the bank nifty over here, then I have the bank nifty. We have a floating zoom option over here, which in case, okay, price decides to move out and uh, you want to bring price back, back, okay, on screen, then you can use this floating option and uh, you will have, okay, the price, okay, recentering back, okay, to your screen over here. Uh, you can use one of these buttons at the bottom right and uh, the same option of resetting price okay to the screen available in front of you would be there up at the very top okay you have an option okay which is the ppr now the recommended setting over here is one or less for an index such as the nifty or the bank nifty if you want to see more display on your screens okay and you want to understand structure etc uh you can okay use this option and go up to any amount okay you want but we won't recommend okay you okay going through a higher number over here try to keep it okay with about one two you have an option of going to about 0 0.2 in here and that is the recommended okay setting okay for a perfect view of all that the order flow can can give you okay for now okay because okay of the markets okay we trade in we recommend okay a setting of one or two for you to use these things you can okay see the order flow of any options chart also over here so suppose okay i want to see the option of uh, say a call option over here then okay i just have to click in and i get the option chart on screen also right so this is a basic intro to what all is available to you on a order flow chart on screen in the next video we're going to be looking at how best to take advantage of all this information uh, available to you join in for me next time